Food and water are the essence of life and critical to human survival. But you can actually live for weeks without food. This is because our bodies are very resourceful and have lots of tricks in place to help us survive. In today's video, we will tell you what happens to your body when you stop eating for a long period of time and how long it takes before your body actually shuts down. We all know what it's like to feel hungry, even starving. You know, when you're sitting in a quiet exam or meeting and your stomach decides that it's the best time to let out an almighty growl. That can be embarrassing, but hunger is something we all deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. When your stomach rumbles, you look at the clock and realize it's time to eat lunch. If you're really hungry, you might grab a quick snack to instantly satisfy yourself and carry on with your day. But what if you couldn't get food and had to tolerate that sensation for a longer period of time? Sure, you might start to feel angry, or as we like to call it, hangry, and it would feel like you were starving. People all over the world go for long periods of time without food due to poverty, or even for dietary, religious, and spiritual purposes. But what is real starvation? Have you ever wondered how long you could actually go without food? There aren't many scientific studies about starvation, because it would not be ethical to make people starve to the point of death just to satisfy our curiosity. Most things we know come from observing people who are already fasting, on hunger strikes, or experience famine. Here are some well-known cases of starvation where people miraculously survived. You may remember back in 2003 when American illusionist David Blaine spent 44 days suspended in a glass box by the River Thames in London without food. Famously again in the 1940s, 74-year-old Mahatma Gandhi, who was very slight of build, went on a hunger strike for India's independence. He survived 21 days of total starvation with only sips of water. In 2006, Japanese hiker Mitsutaka Yuchikoshi survived 24 days without food and water after he went missing during a climbing trip in western Japan. He was found with a body temperature nearly 15 degrees C below normal. After being treated for severe hypothermia and other health complications, Yuchikoshi returned home, leaving some doctors puzzling over his miraculous recovery. In 2011, a 56-year-old woman from British Columbia survived nearly 50 days in the Nevada wilderness on trail mix, sweets, and stream water after being stranded in the mountains while her husband went in search of help. Hunters found Richard Tretin alive, conscious, and able to speak, although she had lost 20 to 30 pounds as a result of the ordeal. In 2012, a Swedish man was found in a car buried under snow. He said he survived for two months without food just by eating handfuls of snow. So how was all this possible? How did these people survive and how much longer could they have gone without food? Being able to go for days and weeks with no food seems unimaginable, right? After all, just a 24-hour fast or even an hour stuck in that meeting without lunch can make us all irritable and low on energy. Well, many people do religious or diet fasts, which can be hard to begin with, but your body can actually be trained to go without food for long stretches of time, without doing irreparable damage. So let's take a look at how your body would react to starvation and other factors which affect how long people survive. So watch until the end of the video to find out the causes and how long you could go without food. It's not as straightforward as you might think. As a ballpark figure, the average person could survive between one to two months without eating, but there are many things like age, sex, weight, fitness, health conditions, and water intake which will influence how long you could last. And these will vary from person to person because everyone is different. For example, an average healthy male weighing 160 pounds technically has enough fat stores to go one to three months without food. But there are people who have died after 45 to 61 days after a hunger strike, which means that in reality, a person is unlikely to survive for three months. Our body survives on the nutrients in food like protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals to renew cells, fuel our organs, and help vital bodily processes. 
When you stop eating, your body will start to eat itself by using tissue, fat and muscle stores as fuel. But this can only last for so long. It actually only takes 8 hours without food to change how it works, and during starvation, the big changes happen within just 3 days. On day 1, the main source of energy is sugar, which is used to feed your brain. But going without food for just one day will use up all your sugar reserves. The next big source of fuel is fat, which is used to feed your muscles. By day 2 or 3 of starvation, these fatty acids will be used by the liver to make ketones to become your new main source of energy. This is when your metabolism really changes to help you survive and people lose a lot of weight during this time. Once the fat stores have been completely used up, your body will turn to the last source of fuel. Protein Protein comes from muscles in your tissues and organs. This is the real danger zone because when your body starts eating its own heart, kidneys and liver, your organs will start to shut down, ultimately leading to death. A key factor to longer survival at this time is starting weight, because the more fats you have, the more fuel your body can use. If you are in a healthy weight range, you will experience weakness between 30 and 50 days, and death between 43 and 70 days. Women also naturally have bigger fat stores than men, so gender has a role to play. Fat stores also depend on how much you move during starvation. If you move very little like David Blaine in a box, you will need less energy and hold on to your fuel for much longer. Another huge factor is actually water intake. Without water, you would likely only survive for 3 to 4 days, but drinking 1.5 liters of water a day could probably help you survive for up to 2 months without food. A person's mental state can be a crucial contributor to survival too. During extreme situations, like the starving Swedish man buried under snow, people can go into fight-or-flight mode. In these life-threatening scenarios, survival can mean the difference between giving up and staying hopeful. Hopeful people are usually more resourceful and likely to find ways to stay alive longer, which increases their chance of being rescued. Starvation is by no means a fast or easy death. Before this happens, the process will be long, slow and painful. During this time, people experience muscle weakness, hair loss, dry skin, constipation and fatigue. They feel faint and dizzy as well as severe stomach pain, and women's menstrual cycles also stop. You would feel cold and your body might try to keep warm by growing a fine layer of hair called lanugo. But ultimately, being cold can lead to hypothermia and death, that is if you haven't died from heart or other organ failure first. Of course, if starvation is a choice, like a hunger strike, most people would naturally end it within 21 to 40 days. This is when they would start to experience severe and deadly symptoms which can be treated with food. But even if you survive, a lot of people who have experienced starvation come away with depression or post-traumatic stress disorder, which is more long-lasting and can affect you even after you go back to normal life. Going back to eating after long periods of starvation is not so simple. Your body got used to surviving without food, so it would need to get used to breaking down food again to avoid heart, stomach and neurological conditions. This means reintroducing food slowly with small amounts of boiled vegetables under a doctor's care. So to summarize, we have learned that your body needs the nutrients in food to survive. Without them, it will start to break down its own tissue to use as food, and starvation affects all the body's systems and processes. It's hard to say exactly how long someone can go without food, but a good estimate is between 1 and 2 months. And this is a long, painful process. Although your body is very resilient and works hard to keep you alive, going without food for a long period is not healthy. Many people who clicked on this video to find out how long you can go without food did so out of curiosity, maybe sparked by harmless what-ifs and rescue stories, and real-life starvation is something you probably will never be personally impacted by.
But if you clicked on here for tips to lose weight or due to an eating disorder like anorexia nervosa, then hopefully you can now see starvation is not a good way to lose weight because it is very dangerous. In fact, a person's metabolic rate actually goes down when they are in starvation mode, meaning that they burn fewer calories and will lose weight slower. It is also very difficult to stick to a restrictive diet, and as a result, these diets do not tend to be very effective. Poor nutrition due to starvation can also lead to a huge number of health concerns. You can talk to a doctor about more sustainable ways to lose weight. And remember, an effective diet plan usually involves eating a nutritious, healthy and balanced diet, as well as exercising regularly. If you are suffering from an eating disorder, please seek out care from a healthcare professional. You and your body needs and deserves nourishment to function and thrive. Now you have a better idea of how long you can go without food, but hopefully you never have to find out. So next time your stomach growls and you say, I'm starving, maybe you should consider what starving actually means. If you liked this video and found it useful, remember to leave a thumbs up and share the video. Were you surprised to find out about how your body responds or how long you can survive? Have you ever experienced something like this? Leave a comment below. We would love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Remember to subscribe to our channel for lots more content like this.